Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here too. I'm Katie and today I'm going to be playing with gouache. Gouache, gouache, gauche, gets called all sorts of names. I'm going to call it gouache because when I was in college my excellent tutor told me how to say it properly and it's stuck with me ever since. But it doesn't really matter how you pronounce it, it's still the same stuff, right? So this particular brand is called Hemi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I got it off AliExpress for £20, so that's not too bad. I've not used gouache before. Well, actually I tell a lie, I've used it a few times, perhaps to highlight areas, or I've used it on black card, but nothing really in the bounds of actually using it to create a serious piece and in today's video i am just tinkering around with it i'm just doing a couple of junk paintings you could say but i thought i'd splurge a little bit more than what i normally do on it i usually buy sets that are like five pounds and they're not amazing so i thought i'd give these a try and i really like the little trays they come in they are so cute and they keep making me hungry i keep thinking they're dips don't eat the paint people so after swatching them out, I really quite like how opaque they are, which is obviously the deal with gouache, right? My issues I've had in the past with it is I haven't been able to use it properly. I've either applied it too thickly or too thinly for how I like and the effect I want. And I know with gouache, you get a nice flat matte finish. So you've got to do all the work with adding the tones and the shapes. You're not relying on the paint too much for any added effect, it goes down flat and that's it. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like to challenge myself using new materials. So I'm going to teach myself how to get good at gouache and hopefully not in this video, but at some point soon, I will put up a picture where I've sat and thought about it and done a nice job and appreciated the paints for what they are. So I found with this paint, it's forcing me to loosen up a little bit. I will tighten up eventually, but for now I've got to use it loose and I've got to work with the paint quite quickly because it is hot at the moment. And with it being water-based and quite a thick pigmented medium, it's drying out so quickly. So I do have to keep rehydrating what I've put in the palette next to me. The little trays on the left though, they're staying pretty good. If I do feel like they're drying out a bit, it's nothing a spritz of water with a spray won't fix. It's a little bit like using the watercolours. I, I don't really want them to dry out. I have seen other artists use them on YouTube and they've been fine with them drying out and it's rehydrated perfectly for them. But for the time being, I am just gonna try and keep them wet. So I will keep spraying them intermittently and that's how I keep them going. So as far as colour laydown is concerned, I'm really happy with them. I think the only thing I can fault with this set is I don't really want to contaminate the paints. So I have to go in there with a fresh brush each time and this paint's really difficult to get out of the brushes I've found. I really, really have to clean my brushes after this. I think it's because it's quite a thick paint and because it's drying quickly, it's sticking to the bristles more. However, it's nothing soap, water and a good scrub isn't sorting out. It, it's just a long process. That, that paint stays in there forever. Now when I've painted with mediums as thick bodied as this, it's either been oils or mostly acrylics and it does feel weird to paint with. I know that sounds strange because unless you're actually painting with it yourself, you probably won't know what I mean, but it's it's very, it's, it's more mushy on the palette rather than gloopy like acrylic is or buttery like oils is. It's, it's, it's strange. But again, that's something I've got to get used to and I will, I will. I'm learning as I go along all the time.
So one of the things I like about this paint so far is I can layer it and not in the way you would with watercolours but I can layer it because it's opaque and as long as the brush isn't too wet or I'm not being too abrasive on the surface it doesn't actually bring the colour below back to life if that makes sense and that's really good because I make mistakes I mean at the moment I am just messing about with these paintings I just they arrived and I had to do a video straight away with them but for future pieces perhaps if there's an area I'm not happy with or I want to add some highlights to some areas which I missed off I can just go over it and that's great if I was using watercolours I'd put masking fluid down you, you work from your lightest colours to your darkest whereas with this I can pretty much work in whatever order I want which is it's really bizarre but I quite like it it's, it's quite nice So the one thing I feel like I need to be most careful with with these paints is over diluting them and that's fine you can use them like you would with a watercolour and you can dilute them that way the pigment particles are a lot thicker than in a watercolour so obviously the lay down is going to be different but you can still get that effect however for me I kind of don't like blending the watercolour -y side to it and the thick lay down side to it I think it's going to look odd and I think what I need to learn is to not dilute it too much otherwise it's going to look streaky and I'm, I'm learning the two pictures I've done here they are a little bit streaky but I just couldn't I had to do something with them I really did so as long as I don't put too much water in them and if I do I make sure it's thoroughly mixed it's not a problem I hope you've enjoyed the video, it's been a bit of a shorter one today. I will be putting another one up soon, I really feel like I can do something really bold and vibrant with these paints, so keep an eye out for the next gouache video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching, if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please hit like if you've enjoyed it as well. See you soon guys, bye!